everyone, this is Lisa from K9 Clips, and this is Cola. And Cola is an American Eskimo uh, mixed with a husky. I'd say a mini American Eskimo by the size of him. Um, he's about 16 pounds, so he's uh, um, quite small and uh, a nice size. And we're going to give him a scissor cut today. So I have already bathed him and I've trimmed around his feet and um, obviously given him a blow dry as well and given him a good combing out as well so um, so once i've done all that process i am able to start grooming him so the scissor cut is uh one of the more harder harder cuts to master um, because it's all just um, getting to know the dog's fur and where to cut so it doesn't look choppy because you do want to make it look nice and even um, we want to keep uh, the fur a little bit longer on him, so we're, that's why we're not using any clippers. And uh, basically it's just uh, lifting up the hair is how I do it, and go across the body. Now when you're going down the sides, you want to go up, not this way. So you always want to go upwards or downwards, but you don't want to go across because then on the sides, on the top you can. So on the sides you have to go up, up or down. Because if you go sideways you'll make lines and then it'll look quite choppy. So that's the trick. You have to kind of know which way the hair is laying and that's um, how you learn how to, um, what direction you're gonna use the scissors to blend it that way. So I'm just taking a little bit off everywhere. Um, so I just continually fluff it up. And you always got to make sure you've brushed out the dog um, to make sure there are no mats or anything or undercoat that is thicker. Okay, and then around the bottom area, it's always the thickest kind of hair. And I do cut that a little bit shorter because that is the, the fastest part to grow, of course. But you do want to kind of round it out so that it does look natural as well, even though it is quite a bit shorter. And that just keeps anything from sticking to it and it keeps it that more natural look. So you still want quite a bit of fluff on there, um, but you just wanna trim it up quite nicely. Okay, in the back of the legs, on the bottom there, trim that. So basically it makes it look nice and poofy and clean. And you're just taking off the edges so it, it looks uh, really fluffy. All right, so you can see the difference in the chest there. I'll move it around. You can see better. I'll lift his head up. So again, we're going to go up and down, not across, because if you go up and up and down, it kind of evens it all out and makes it more natural looking, but if you go across, it'll make it quite choppy. So we're still taking quite a bit off to cool him down a little bit because it is quite warm out there. but still leaving them like lots of fur as well. So he still has that true um, American Eskimo look as he, that's what he predominantly looks like. All right, so I'll start going on the back side here. It all depends how it lays down too. So this is the one thing that um, is the hardest to do. 
because it makes it, you try to make it that you haven't trimmed them, but you have to try to make it the most natural looking. Um, I've been grooming now for 15 years, so I've had a lot of whoopsies and trim the wrong way and you just learn by doing and I just kept on going. Thankfully I've had many wonderful clients who understand what I'm trying to do and sometimes um, if you do make uh, the scissor lines you just have to trim it a little bit closer so that it blends better. But as you can see it really looks really nice right now. It's nice and smooth. Um, and um, we've taken out all the frizzies and it looks really natural on him. So I'm just going to do this side a little bit more underneath here. So it kind of rounds out a little bit more. And around the bum area. Show you that. So basically we're just trying to get any wispies that kind of stick out. Still a little bit damp. But still for the most part. And then for the tail, I also trim these. I kind of layer them the opposite way so they won't fall down into the poop area there. So nothing will kind of get stuck to that area. So I kind of layer them the other way but still leave the poof um, so that it kind of blends as well. All right, and then uh, his bum area here, you can see it's a, a little bit poofier. Oh, here it's doing it. There we go. So for that, generally his tail is up in the air, but for those times that he does lay it down, it's just nice to have it all kind of, not all poofy here, right? So we just kind of blend that in as well. And then instead of reaching across, I like to turn him because you never know um, what you may be cutting. So it's always good to not reach across just in case you cut too much. So and there we go. So it doesn't take too long to get the desired look. And then for the underbelly. And then around his uh, primary area there, more sensitive area. I go do go a little bit closer because of course we want that area to stay nice and clean. And always be careful with scissors. You have to be aware of where your ends are. I'll give him a little break there and we're gonna go back up. So again, just be aware of where the tips and the ends of your scissors are when doing this because this is a very sensitive area. And if they are going to move, you let them move because you don't want to accidentally trim something um, you're not supposed to. Okay, and so now I'm just going to do the inside of the leg here. Again, because it's in that area where stuff can stick to that we don't want to, I do it a little shorter. go and then the same for the other side make sure we don't get the tail in there okay and then just this front leg here you can see that just the wispies are sticking out a little further so I'm just going to trim those up And there we go. So it's all about the angles of how you're cutting it. So there is a few angles that you do have to do um, to make it look natural. So you kind of got to go with um, what uh, direction the hair is actually growing at. And then that will give it a much natural look. All right. So hope that helps you. Um, in doing any scissor cut for yourself um, and again it's just trial and error and um, 
getting to know it better and getting to know um, what you're doing and um, and making sure it's flowing with the hair, um, the scissors, I guess. So hopefully that helped you. Please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see other videos um, showing you different methods of grooming and the different lengths and the different dogs I groom. So thanks for watching and hope you have a great day.